Today, we are going to be playing around with some Danessa Myricks products. I have been interested in Danessa's products for years. I finally decided to just go ahead and make the splurge and buy some of her items. I'm so excited to play around with them and try them out. So she is known for her iconic glass-like skin. Um, her pictures are just phenomenal and the skin just always has this beautiful glow. So today we're gonna try and create something in the realm of that fabulousness. This is uncharted territory for me, so we might not get that iconic look that she has, but we're definitely gonna try. So she has a lot of different products that she layers on top of one another. And I watched a tutorial of hers showing how she layers those products to get that beautiful glass looking skin. I don't have all of her products, but the products that I have that are not hers are very similar to what she used in her tutorial that I watched on how she creates these beautiful looks. I'm super excited to try it. I'm super nervous to see how this look turns out, but I wanna take you guys on this journey with me. So yeah, if you wanna see how to achieve this whole glass-like skin from Danessa Myrex, then please continue watching. Okay, so the only thing that I've started out with are my brows because it doesn't really affect the overall look. So I just figured I would get that out of the way. So when Danessa starts off her looks, she starts it with her oil primer. So I don't have her primer, but I do have my squalene oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on first. So she explained that adding the oil first really helps to glide the other products on more easily and to help the whole overall look look more like skin. So after that, she uses her illuminating lotion to kind of color correct underneath the eyes. I don't have that, so I'm just gonna go in with the color corrector that I have. I'm gonna use MAC and I'm gonna use this kind of peachy undertone right here to go underneath my eyes and also around my mouth. Okay, so after that, she goes in with her concealer and her contour and foundation color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now as well. Gonna go ahead and buff that all out. So next up, she takes the Illuminating Veil and she puts a very small amount on her fingertips and she goes on the high points of the face. So on the cheeks and on the nose and a little bit on the forehead and right here on the chin. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. This one is in the color Radiance. Just put it on your fingertip. So you're supposed to be able to layer these products, but I am noticing that it is lifting the foundation underneath a little bit. Maybe that's because I didn't use the right oil base that she has, but just something to keep in mind that it does kind of move the foundation underneath. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that glow. Wow, it's really pretty. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different because I love how this is looking. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put a little bit underneath my brow bone to make a nice little highlight. Oh, that is a perfect, perfect brow highlight shade. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> okay, so next up, she went in with her loose um, her loose shimmer powder. So I don't have hers, but I do have Inglot's loose highlight powder. I really like this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer that on top of the areas that I just put down the illuminator. Okay, so after the illuminating veil, she went in with her Dew Wet product and layered that right over top of the loose powder that she just laid down. She said that it's not supposed to disturb the product underneath, so we are gonna go ahead and put that to the test and lay that on the areas that we just put down our illuminating highlighter and our loose highlighter. This is in color Hot Water. I'm a little nervous to put this on top of the product. I don't want it to move it. Wow, it's, whoa. Can you, can you 
can you see that? It's, it's not actually, it's not actually moving the product underneath. Whoa, that's, that's insane. Oh my gosh, look at that. That side compared to that side. That is so pretty guys, that is honestly stunning and I I would say that's probably the best highlight I've ever gotten from any product before. I know that we layered, but that's the best outcome I've ever gotten. No lie, that's, it's, it's really, it's really quite stunning. Okay, so you might have noticed I use my fingers. She said that you can use tools if you want to or you can use your fingers. I just feel more comfortable using cream products with my fingers because I can really get it into the skin better. But if you're not somebody that likes to use your fingers on your face, you can totally use a brush or a blender. She definitely said that in her tutorial. Okay, yeah, guys, I'm super impressed. So stunning, it's so pretty. Now, I'm not sure how this is gonna wear throughout the day, but for right now, it's really beautiful. And it also feels a little sticky. Not overly sticky, it is a little sticky, but it feels comfortable on the face. It doesn't feel like there's too much going on, which is nice. So I hate feeling like there's like a ton of product on my face. That is nice that it actually feels light, even though you saw we layered on those products. This is part one to my Danessa Myricks makeup products. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Let me know your thoughts on her products if you've tried them in the past and if there's anything that you absolutely love that you have to have in your kit. Okay, so stay tuned for part two because we're gonna be doing a kind of avant-garde makeup look something that she would kind of do in her makeup sessions with her products. I love how she experiments with color and tries bold things. So we're definitely gonna go for a bold look in our next video. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, will you do me a favor and please give me a big thumbs up. Also, if you enjoy this kind of content, please consider subscribing to this channel. I would love to have you. I upload videos every week and I'd love to see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. 